Washington. Senator, good morning to you. Good morning. As we mentioned, you are one of four Republicans who oppose this bill because you think essentially it's Obamacare light. It's not going far enough. Let me quote the Rolling Stones for you, though. You can't always get what you want. If it comes down to this bill or no bill at all, would you really rather do nothing? Well, I don't think the choices are binary. I think the choices are, do they want our votes or they don't want our votes? They have to have at least two of the four of us, and so that means the bill has to get better and has to get more to our liking. The current bill keeps the fundamental flaw of Obamacare. The fundamental flaw of Obamacare is that if you can get insurance after you get sick, you will, and without the individual mandate, that sort of adverse selection, the death spiral, the elevated premiums, all of that that's going on gets worse under this bill. And so what this bill does is it dumps a bunch of taxpayer money into a stabilization fund and says, but, oh, we'll have cheaper insurance if we subsidize it. Well, you could have cheaper cars if you st have a stabilization fund for cars or iPhones or education. That typically has not been a Republican idea just to empty the Treasury to lower prices, but the reality, particu particularly because we have a $500 billion deficit already this year. The reality of it, Senator, is if you and your conservative colleagues get what you want in this bill, then moderates are not going to get what they want. So how is Mitch McConnell okay. supposed to navigate that catch-22 in seven days? Well, I think we ought to evaluate what we were for and what we have been for. For six years, we've run on repealing Obamacare. We didn't run on keeping Obamacare. So right now, as the bill stands, the Obamacare subsidies that the Democrats saying everybody's going to die because we don't have enough subsidies, we have equal subsidies or exceeding Obamacare subsidies. Even Jonathan Gruber said yesterday, so it looks like they're keeping it. We are having, we have more government subsidies in our bill, perhaps, well, than Obamacare has. Our bill may cost more in the first first two years than let, Obamacare costs. Let me That's ask not you, repeal. Let me ask you about essential benefits. Under this plan, that coverage for our existing condition stays, but states have the right to waive many of the essential benefits mandated by the ACA. Preventative care, maternity care, prescription drug coverage, substance abuse, and mental health treatment. When you look at that list, isn't that the very essence of health care coverage? Well, well, here's the problem, and I think President Obama had a big heart, and many Democrats want to help people, but when you add mandates to insurance, you make it more expensive. So let's say I make $30,000 a year, and you add 12 mandates. My insurance has to include 12 things that you think are good for me, but what if my insurance now costs 10000 and I say, what the heck, I can't, I can't afford 10000 I only make 30000 so what happens is I just drop out also because you tell me, you know what, if you get leukemia, you can just buy in later. And so it's this perverse incentive. We add regulatory mandates that elevate the cost so poor people can't buy it and healthy young people won't buy it. But then we say to everyone, oh, but it's okay, you can get it after you're sick. That is a terrible sort of but situation. Sen Those perverse incentives are what are destroying the insurance market. And Senator, you've talked about that. You just said, you know, it, that, that this Republican plan keeps all those subsidies, continues to pour federal government money into health care. And yet you have President Trump who has promised insurance for everybody. He promised right. on the campaign everyone will be beautifully covered. That well, is I a don't quote. Disagree. And yeah, so, I don't so, disagree with the president. I'm actually for insurance for everyone. My goal is uh, the least expensive insurance to the most people. Does this but bill you know do that? Does that? But you know what? You know what does that better than any government program? When supply and demand meet, you get the most goods distributed to the most amount of people at the least amount of cost. That's when you have freedom in the marketplace to let prices go up and down. You let the consumer choose based on price. And I'll give you an example of where it works: LASIK surgery. That's a surgery that I did to help people get rid of their glasses. The price has gone down by 75 percent over the last 15 years because consumers pay for just it real quickly, and they shop they yeah. shop according to price makes sense but i mean pre-obamacare didn't we have essentially a market system and not many really, people not really. we, we didn't have insurance we, for everybody yeah, not really and this is sort of the misunderstanding a lot of people and we were part of this we blamed everything on obamacare but really the system was in was failing before obamacare obamacare didn't make it better i think it got worse but the thing is is we're keeping fundamentally the problems we had a fork in the road before Obamacare, the system was failing. Insurance rates were going through the roof. Under Obamacare, it continued. What you really want is you want the consumer to be connected to the product. When the consumer cares about the price, there's competition, the price comes down. If we have a sufficient belief in the market system that has made all, you know, has given America her greatness, we can make health care great in this country. But you have to embrace freedom and capitalism. Two seconds, is this going to pass? 
Uh, the bill has a chance, and I'm still open to it, but it has to be drug in the direction of free markets, capitalism, choice, right. and you've got to get rid of the regulations that are causing the prices to go up too much. Senator right. Rand Paul, thank you so thanks, much. Sorry, Senator. we got to jump, but thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Let's bring in Chuck Todd. Chuck, good morning to you.